The only way to appropriately uh, care for people today in a timely fashion with respect to all their needs is to be able to collect information on data from people no matter where they are. Je pense que tout le monde a compris uh, que pour aller en avant, il faut absolument passer à travers un pan de transformation, une révolution numérique. We need to create a centralized repository, if you will, of patient information, and medical information, but also social determinants of health, which are probably more important. The information needs to follow wherever the patient is. Our doctors, our nurses, our allied health professionals, they need the, the patient's medical history and what happened to the patient at every step of the care journey. So we don't uh, end up duplicating tests. We don't end up not having information we need to have uh, to make timely decisions. If patients have easier digital access to their records, it will enable people to become more involved in their health care. You know, the studies do show that um, with increasing engagement with someone's own care, uh, outcomes do improve. Prodiguer les soins à nos patients, c'est notre plus grande priorité. L'hôpital général juif a toujours été le fleuron pour la province de Québec, en tout cas, et au Canada. Le personnel est clé pour l'accomplissement d'un hôpital, et je crois que le personnel ici en particulier fait le succès de l'hôpital. The spirit of innovation that we have here, the spirit of entrepreneurship, that's really part of the DNA here. Voir euh, jusqu'où la fondation mène notre argent, euh, voir les résultats que ça apporte euh, sont très encourageants. Et c'est ce qui fait en sorte que qu'on passe d'une activité à l'autre. Et aujourd'hui, on passe à la, à la santé numérique. Having uh, lived through the first wave of the COVID-19 pandemic it really was a wake-up call for many of us. It has really accelerated the pace of, of, of innovation, and it has really fomented, you know, uh, creative juices. Certainly, in this in this institution. I think one of the things that the pandemic rapidly accelerated was the adoption of uh, telehealth. It brought home to us the fact that our uh, original thinking around digital technology and what was needed to move into the future was absolutely right and bang on. When we talk about connected care, one of the things that we're really focused on is being patient-centric. Developing the program of innovation at, at this fine institution is exactly that, is figuring out ways to engage patients by giving patients the tools and by putting the patient at the center of the creation and design process. With a vision of being able to provide care everywhere, more timely care, more targeted care, the right care at the right time in the right place. Our added value in, in the cycle of innovation is access to end users and the clinicians and researchers who are then in position to validate ideas and refine them and make sure that they align perfectly with not only the clinical or technical need, but also habits and needs of the, of the users of the technology. We've been recruiting uh, experts uh, over the last nine to 12 months in the digital health sphere, in the sphere of innovation. What we see in the next five to 10 years is AI-driven applications that then help our clinical teams. Although this is a very young innovation program that we have spearheaded, we have hit the ground running. Needless to say, innovation plays a huge role. We want to build the healthcare institution of the future. And the future isn't 20 years from now. The future is three, four, five years from now. <laughs>